I had this idea to start a shoe company. The purpose of the company was to give people shoes who don't have shoes. I met a girl named Renee, and I met her two years ago. And, and when I met her, she was 19 years old, and her life was in a really difficult place. We have a mission that we come back to regularly, and that mission is to connect people through lending to alleviate poverty. Initially, there was no plan to do anything more than tell a story and help a friend. Tom's is more than a shoe, it's a story. You can talk about wanting to do something, you can talk about having an idea, but once you begin, even if it's very small, everything changes. It's about leading and connecting people and ideas, and it's something that people have wanted forever. You don't need everyone. And that means that the idea you create, the product you create, the movement you create isn't for everyone. It's not a mass thing. That's not what this is about. Don't be afraid to start small. And in fact, I think the very best way to create big change is to have the um, patience and the attention to really focus in on one particular person or one particular community and serve them as well as you can. looking at all the little rules and following each one of them. Every once in a while, someone stands up and says, not me. Someone stands up and says, this one's important. The goat herder that you loaned to in Kenya last year can get online and lend to, you know, my neighbor in San Francisco that wants to open a food stand. Like, that is healthy for the world, and that's what I hope can happen more and more. A small idea can have a big impact in the world when you just trust God and you just do it.